Hi everyone, let's talk about compositions and combinatorics. Let's say we have n indistinguishable balls, so they're all the same color, same size, let's say a bunch of red medium-sized balls, and we have k distinguishable boxes. So let's say we order them from left to right so that they're, the order is what instills the fact that they're distinguishable. And what we want to do now is distribute the n indistinguishable balls across these boxes. So some might have two, some might have three, one might have one, there might be zero in this one. So we just want to, we just want to distribute the indistinguishable balls across k ordered boxes. Ordered and distinguishable is the same thing. And we want to know how many ways there are of doing this. So we're going to be using a clever technique called sticks and stones. What we'll do is that to instill this order, like box 1, box 2, box 3, box 4, since we have k boxes, we're going to have k minus 1 sticks, okay? So we have stick 1, stick 2, stick 3. So stick 1, stick 2, stick 3, and that results in a bunch of sections. So we have box 1 here, box 2 here, box 3 here, and box 4 here. So you can see that k minus 1 sticks leaves you with k sections, which we treat as the boxes. And next what we do is that in addition to the k minus 1 sticks, we append to the sequence n balls. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 n balls. The clever part is that we just need to permute these k minus 1 sticks and n balls. Permute them. The reason is as follows. We actually have a bijection. So we've got 1, 2, 3 sticks and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 balls. So a permutation looks something like this. 1, 2, stick, 1, stick, 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, actually, uh, let's remove one of those. So uh, stick. So we've got six six balls, and there's zero in this section. So box one has two balls, box two has one ball, box three has three balls, and box four has zero balls. So two balls, one ball, three balls, zero balls. And this is a bijection because we have an injection in the sense that each such permutation of this leads to a distinct way of di distributing the boxes and every way of distributing the balls is represented by permutations of this and it only represents those kinds of permutations. So all we need to do is permute these and what we get is that the number is equal to n, n balls plus k minus 1 factorial divided by n factorial k minus 1 factorial because that's the number of the, the sticks are indistinguishable even though the sections are distinguishable or ordered and the balls are indistinguishable so we're using a multinomial uh, permutation here and this is simply equal to n plus k minus 1 choose k minus 1 and that is the answer the last thing I want to show you is the possibility of each box gets at least one ball. So what we do in that case is that 
Well, first of all, we need n is greater than or equal to k, so the number of balls exceeds the number of boxes. Otherwise, each box wouldn't get at least one ball. And secondly, what we do is that we just remove k balls from the count. Well, what we're going to do is that we're going to we're going to repeat the last part of the problem. So distribute n minus k balls across k boxes arbitrarily. And then pop in one ball into each box. So this really just reduces down, reduces to the last part of the problem. What we get is that we have n minus k balls plus k minus 1 sticks. Choose k minus 1. And that's equal to n minus 1. Choose k minus 1. And that's the answer in the case that each box gets at least one ball. And I just want to mention that this is not a random problem. Many interesting combinatorial problems reduce to this kind of uh, argument about sticks and stones, which are also called stars and bars or uh, sticks and stones, stars and bars, and uh, compositions. So those are standard arguments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.